Notice that every person in the scriptures, before they got into the realm where they were supposed to operate, God first took them there for a tour. David just didn't move from being a shepherd boy to becoming a king over Israel. It's impossible. He first had to enter the temple as a young boy who could only play the harp. God had to introduce him first to the temple. He said, look, one day you're going to come and be a king here, but not yet. I've just brought you here to familiarize yourself with this thing. So there's a, there's a time God will train you in the house of God. You are serving in this department. You are serving in this department. There is a day you are going to come and rule. If you have not passed through, through that stage, you will never be given God's people. It's impossible. Never. God must first introduce you to what you are going to rule over. Joseph was first brought to Potiphar's house. He graduated from that class. In Potiphar's house, he could have access to the temple. He was one day going to sit there. But he was not supposed to skip. God can bring you close. Look at how Joseph was diligent in Potiphar's house. That Potiphar kept promoting him and gave him a rank in his house. Everything was under him. Everything. Because of his diligence. God now knows Joseph is ready to run everything. Because, notice this, Potiphar is in charge of the things of Pharaoh. Okay? Potiphar brings Joseph into his house. He begins to say this guy is diligent. He makes him in charge of everything Potiphar is in charge of. The only thing Joseph was not in charge of was Potiphar's wife. And Potiphar says, I've made you in charge of everything in this household, except my wife. Now, here's the thing you, you might not see. Potiphar is the superior officer to Pharaoh. Meaning, who was in charge of the affairs of Pharaoh? Joseph. Before he sat on that throne, he had to serve Pharaoh. He had to serve. His season was coming, but it was not yet his season. So God had to first bring David into the temple. Next to Saul, he's not ruling, he's playing the harp. So that he sees how things were. God had to first bring Joseph in Potiphar's house for him to see how things work. And Potiphar had to mark and say, you are diligent, my child. Yes, I'm diligent. So there are sometimes God will hand you over to a man of God and that man of God is the one who is going to make sure you get to your next place in life. If he refuses to say you have not been diligent, notice how David never killed Saul. Never. David and Saul never had conflict. Saul wanted to kill David. David didn't have conflict with him. If David fought Saul, David was never going to sit on that throne. Never. That's why David killed the person who killed Saul. Killed him. It's a very great temptation. God will bring you close to an anointed person to see how you treat them. And David kept on watching Saul and he was diligent. And it's the same thing which happened to Samuel and Eli. Samuel came into the house of Eli. And you're serving God under Eli. You're serving God under, and he was a diligent boy. He was a diligent boy until he started hearing the voice of God. The prophet Samuel, yes. The same thing happened to Joshua. Joshua was serving Moses. Joshua was serving Moses. When Moses died, the book of Joshua starts by saying, Ah, Joshua, my servant Moses is dead. Come, now it is you that I'm going to use to bring out my people Israel. The same thing happened to Elisha. He was serving who? Elijah. It's a pattern in the scriptures. God doesn't skip his protocol. He doesn't skip his way. He doesn't. God will first bring you close to the throne before you sit on the throne. How you behave close to the throne will determine whether you sit on that throne. 